Hi everybody, Sean Woodland here with one of the newest members of the CrossFit Media team, Derek Forrest. Derek is going to be one of the hosts for the upcoming open announcements here. And Derek, I think people, if we have any viewers in the Cleveland area, they probably are familiar with you. Uh, what are you doing right now? Yeah, so I'm currently in Cleveland, uh, Ohio, working for uh, the ABC affiliate WEWS as a sports anchor slash reporter. I've uh, been there the last two and a half years, so I do everything from covering the Cavs, covering the Indians, covering the Browns. So obviously getting ready for spring training and, and what the Indians are going to do. Yeah, uh, Dan Bailey, probably a big fan of all those, uh, those teams. So good connection there. Uh, I know you've worked out with Scott Panchik as well, but where, how did you get into CrossFit? So uh, from the workout standpoint, I probably started my first workout in 2017. Okay. Just got bored of being in the gym and doing biceps and triceps and legs and things like that. And I wanted something uh, more entertaining for myself, more enjoyable, because I'm a former athlete um, and saw the CrossFit workouts. And I was like, those would be fun. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, so from that standpoint, I learned about CrossFit in 2017 and the workouts. In terms of CrossFit itself, probably about 2014, 2015, uh, there was a, a video put out by CrossFit called Let Beauty Speak, I yeah. believe is the mm -hmm. name of it. Um, first time I saw that, I'm a TV guy, I've been in the business for 18 years, so literally the moment I saw that, I was like, the video production quality is outstanding. What's CrossFit doing? So I started watching those videos from 2014 on, it took me three years to finally man up and say, oh, let me try the workout. So there you go, 2014, I started watching the video production stuff. 2017, I was like, let's do the workout. And I've been doing it ever since. And you were a baseball so, player in your prior life, right? I was a baseball player. That was a very brief career. I played 18 years, but uh, played uh, at Stonehill College for one season, not even one season. Found out I was born with a bad shoulder. Mm -hmm. I had to stop playing. So that's how I got into my career. Started doing radio in college. Um, and then that transferred to going to the television side. So right off the bat, worked with ESPN yeah. production for a couple of years and then converted to the TV side. So I've been doing TV for 18 years now, so. Yeah, I know you've been watching the CrossFit Games in the past. What's your favorite memory from uh, prior years at the Games? Uh, there's so many good ones, but for me, it was the 2017 finale between Yeah. Tia Claire mm -hmm. Toomey and Kara Webb at the time, Kara Saunders now. Um, that was my favorite moment just because Tia was going for her, her first, yeah, she was going for her mm -hmm. first CrossFit title. And to come down to the wire, she almost falters at the mm -hmm. end and couldn't get across as she drops a dumbbell. Hands down, as a sports person, like that's the stuff you like. It's the competition, seeing competitors go after wins, things like that. That's the best part of yeah. covering it. And uh, that had me hooked right there. And I was like, this is it. Yeah. Hands down, hands down. Well, listen, we are super excited to have you on board and looking forward to uh, the open announcements. And remember, the open starts on March 11th. If you haven't signed up, you should do it now. Go to games.crossfit.com to register and you will be part of all the fun for the 2021 CrossFit Games Open. Derek, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And again, looking forward to working with you this year. Man. No problem, it'll be fun. Yeah.